Right, so welcome to the session. Uh, my name again is Giovanni Gerdovic. I, I work at SUSE. And this is a, a session that I intend to be as um, a round table, um, a forum where we can share experience or uh, try to identify issues, not necessarily solve them, but try to identify issues regarding um, the possible uh, shipment of uh, SCADEX uh, uh, to users, so into the distributions. And um, so that's what it is. Uh, I hope it's not going to be just me talking to myself, you know. I have uh, sent a couple of emails uh, to invite uh, people from other distributions. I see some faces, so let's hope for the best. And um, I, would, I would like to try something uh, uh, a little fancy in this session, which uh, is uh, to do live polls. For that, I would need my mobile phone, which I've lost. Uh, um, so um, the, the live polling that I have set up, and we're going to see if it works. Maybe it doesn't work. Maybe it's. Uh, it's going to be very cringe. I don't know. So the, the way I have intended this is that more or less you are all uh, you all have a device. Could be a laptop, maybe a, sm a, mob a smartphone that's likely to be connected to the internet. So my plan was to ask you to go to this website, uh, which is called Slido, like slide, but we don't know. Slido, Slido.com. So if you really would, uh, I would really appreciate if you can uh, play along um, and uh, indulge me into this. Because they can't log into the, it's, it's inconvenient to log. The reason I'm doing this is because I thought that asking the audience to log into Big Blue Button and, in, and enter the, all right. Uh, I mean, what, why didn't you do that? How, how kind of, seriously, why didn't? Why don't you just? Uh, what kind of? This is better. This is be seriously. Um, so slide.com, and then you have to enter code uh, for, for this poll, for this event. And the code is 1310125. 10, so I am confident that all of you are, are there. And um, I, I will now start it. Uh, the first few polls are, the first few polls are uh, warm up, just to get familiar with this uh, format. And, um, I will now start the first one, so it should be up. So now if you have uh, the website, I'm, I'm asking, and this is why I wanted to share the screen, um, the poll says, for the people at home, um, which Linux distribution do you use or develop? Uh, I wanted to know who is in the audience, right? Uh, so to know if there, um, maybe some distribution is not represented in this, uh, in this audience. Um, and uh, so that's... Um, Something that I wanted to, uh, so to give you time to vote, I'm going to read the options that I have enumerated. Uh, Ubuntu and derivatives, Arch Linux and derivatives, for example, Cache OS, Debian, uh, Gen2, OpenSUSE or SLAS, Fedora or RHEL and derivatives, Android or Chrome OS, we got a few, other, and then I I don't use nor develop Linux, which, why not? I mean, we're inclusive, and if you want to. So, um, the, um, uh, unfortunately, I would have liked to share the, um, maybe I can, let, I can, no, I cannot share the screen with, with this, I can share the screen. No, 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 I can't share the screen with this. I can share the screen with this, right? This can. It should do, um, um, Anyway, it's uh, cumbersome. I, I, all of you can see it, all right? So I'm not going to do that. So, so exactly, we have uh, um, Ubuntu and Derivatives 28 percent. Uh, uh, then second is Fedora or RHEL 26 percent. Arch Linux and Derivatives 15. And then we got OpenSUSE, yay, 13 percent. And then we got some Debian, some Gen, uh, some Gen 2 Android, but those are uh, uh, less. All right, so I'm going to stop this. So we know that we have uh, Ubuntu, RHEL, Arch, and uh, OpenSUSE. Suse, so stop this, so you don't see anything else in anything. And now I'm going to start the second poll, which is still on the same um, same uh, page, which is very cool, I think. Ah, we got 55 votes, by the way, so this is statistically significant. Um, so the the second poll, which is now up, 
is which field of the IT industry do you operate in? And I'm asking this question because um, I find that uh, the, um, the interest uh, towards CADEX or the, the diffidence often relates to what kind of, what's your job. Like if you have to support it, you say, wait a minute. But if you want to use it to, to make better services for your own platform, for your own service, for your own company, you say, yeah, sure, I want it because um, uh, it's just an, it's another tool, so I want to use it. So there is the, um, yeah, this is why I'm asking your job. But as you see, I, I didn't ask you a login or anything, like this is all anonymous. So I'm gonna, um, I, I enumerated all the different uh, fields that I think are in IT. I will read only the, the major um, responder, so we have, Majority of distro vendors, 37%. Thank you very much. So you're in the right room. And uh, then we got social media. Good guys, I know who you are. And um, <laughs> then uh, some uh, semi semiconductors. Um, that would be like, you know, I mean, you know who you are. And academia, cloud computing, consumer electronics. Yeah. All right. So we know who we are, and we could get started. Uh, I'm going to stop this poll. How uh, many people? 56 votes. So I think uh, we're doing good. Thank you very much for indulging me. Uh, I was uh, skeptical if this was going to work. Okay. So now we can start. Um, next slide, please. And that will be this. Yes. This is supposed to be a forum. So the mics are available, I hope. So just, uh, you know, bring it on. Um, uh, okay. Disclaimer. Um, my employer, my organization, is undecided uh, on uh, uh, whether or not to include this in our, distribu in our enterprise distribution, at least for the moment, and uh, we're evaluating, right? so we don't know. Um, community distribution, different story. Like, uh, the only limit is the time you can put into it, but we have a couple of packages, and um, so, um, and this, this, thing, this, um, this um, uh, difference, we go, I'm going to mention it uh, uh, later also in the talk, which is uh, you are bound to provide commercial support or not, and that's all the, you know, uh, the, the, at least for the people that I've talked to, at least for our point of view. Oh, I have a raised hand, so please, 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 uh, go ahead. Um, uh, Hi, can I be heard? Neil Gompa, please. Yeah, there we go. There we go. Now I can be seen. Hi. Uh, sorry, I'm not there in person. I would have loved. So to there is a problem. But, uh, We're not hearing you. We're hearing some uh, some of your voice, but it's very very low in volume. So I'm not sure if it's uh, on your hand on our end. Uh, let's try boosting it. How about now? Yeah, I think. What do you say? What do you say? A little bit better. It's it's better. Like, can you guys hear that? Yeah, yeah, yeah. If I'm back of the room, they say yes. Yeah. So please go ahead. All right. Hi. Hi. Sorry, Sorry I couldn't be, be there, there in, in person. person. But, uh, yeah. Um, from a, So I'm going to say something that's probably a little bit weirdly controversial, but as a distro vendor, uh, particularly one that does stuff in desktop Linux, because I work in Fedora and Fedora KDE in particular, uh, Skedex is going to be a boon for me because uh, the main scheduler that's part of the Linux kernel is pretty bad for desktop workloads, like almost across the board. Uh, and it's been that way for such a long time uh, that most of us, you know, as, as desktop developers and whatever have kind of given up on ever getting anything improved for us. So for me, Skedex is very interesting because I see an opportunity for us to make the desktop experience actually match responsiveness of say Mac and Windows for a variety of desktop use cases because no one else seems to care. And so we have an opportunity now to fix that. So I want to ship it sooner rather than later. There is a mic here, please. Does it work? Yeah, so uh, earlier today I mentioned uh, one thing is I don't really want uh, SCEDX to be the schedule for anything else. I, if, if you are using SCEDX for your production, or I mean, or cross the board for distribution, you're doing it wrong. Because SCEDX is, to me, something that's great for 
evaluating new type of algorithms for research, fast things. I love SCEDEX for that. But when it comes to actually, if you have something, we're going to be passing this, you know, this third party or everyone's going to be doing their own thing. And I mentioned earlier, what I would love personally would be have like a governor type of scheduler where you would say you would have, because right now I really believe because you have Red Hat, Suzy, everyone is using, um, the, basically developing their schedulers for, um, what's the word I want to use? Um, yeah, we're looking for the mic. Yeah, where's the throw mic? Anyone have the throw mic? Yeah, I, I do, I do, sorry. <laughs> You're hiding it, because that way the camera doesn't sh see who I am, so that's why, yes. Yeah, so here, so it's, is it the mic? No, I just always, oh, just, I'll, I'll bring it back. I just okay, 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 okay. <laughs> so, Zip, so the idea for, for the desktop thing, what we really need is a desktop scheduler, because right now everyone's developing it for the back end. The money for, that's going into Linux for development is mostly from those that, where's the money? It's in the Googles, the Metas, the um, you know, high frequency trading. They don't care about desktop. And what if we had a separate scheduler that was just for desktop, that you had just a, maybe a small group, but everyone had a single source to work on in the kernel, I think you would develop and improve the scheduler. And what, another thing what I love with SCEDX would is someone like, say, if you are with the Googles and everything else, you could create, say, hey, we're trying this new, um, we have this new algorithm. Hey, does this work for you? And then throw it to them. They just have to throw in the, the SCEDX scheduler, test it. If it works, great. Then they can implement it back into the C code. That is what I'm actually pushing. So yes, I agree. I'm on the Chrome OS. So yes, we suffer the desktop issue as well, and we have a bunch of hacks to get around it other than SCEDX, but this is what I think would be the goal. So, uh, so, so I think the difference, difference between, uh, between, uh, between what you're saying and what, what I'm saying, saying is, is that, that for, for most, most of us, us on the desktop side, side over, over the years, years we've, we've given up because we've tried. tried. I, I, I know, know that, that, for example, Tom Kolevas, Kolevas tried for years to bring a desktop scheduler into the upstream Linux kernel. And frankly, no one cared then. And there have been subsequent attempts in the going forward, even to integrate some improvements into the main scheduler. And it doesn't actually matter. So like for the rest of us, what are we supposed to do? I think the real reason that SCEDEX happened, and, and I'm really, really, really stoked for it personally, is because it gets us out of this stuck loop that we've had for almost 15 years. So like, uh, unless something is seriously changing in the scheduler community upstream in the Linux kernel, I just don't see that ever happening. Ever. I, I'm actually one of the reviewers for the Linux upstream kernel scheduler. I was actually involved in some of the cons, the, the flame wars back then. So yes, I am very well. I'm uh, friends with Peter Zilstra and everything. And Yuri Laley, who's other, uh, another scheduler um, maintainer, is sitting right behind me. Things are changing. And actually, this is I was a proponent for SCEDEX because I was, well, I've always been a proponent for this separation. Um, yes, there's been this ideology. SCEDEX, I even said earlier, SCEDEX actually came about, as you said, because the um, desktop scheduler was kind of being ignored. I'm for that, but I still think, yes, that is basically, I think SCEDEX is a stepping stone to the goal. Yes, for you, from your point of view, you just say, finally, we can do it ourselves. But this is, this is SCEDEX is causing the change to happen, and we might as well do it properly and not through a hack. But. So um, the only thing I would add is that um, the, it's kind of difficult to predict how things are going to go from here, right? Um, so, you know, like predictions and reality don't always agree. Um, so as we gain more experience, and I'm sure you will too, um, it will develop in certain form. So it may be that um, the eventual you know, form it takes is that we're going to implement back the ideas back into, into the governors in, in the corner. Or maybe, it's, it's maybe you know, something doesn't make that quite appealing, right? Um, so we don't really know for sure how it's going to happen, but I think that is definitely one of the possible scenarios. And I think different people might uh, reach different conclusions. So we're just going to have to see, you know, you know how it develops, right? Yeah. Yeah, I guess my perplexity is how, who's going to do the work, because as far as I understand, I mean, in your case, you're essentially perfectly fine with using the uh, right uh, BBF implementation. Because you, uh, I guess it works better for your use case, even in production. So I don't think you have a feeling of, okay, I need to spend more time in maybe going towards what Steven is proposing. I'm not sure if Chrome is maybe 
we need to do that, I'm not sure, uh, from distributions, as you said. I guess uh, my personal understanding is that it's maybe not our main focus, uh, like more several type of workloads. And so who's, who's actually doing? So we can, uh, we can probably agree, yes, maybe we want to maybe go towards Wastelian State or maybe not. I mean, that's uh, up for discussion. I if we say yes, who's going who's gonna to do it? And that's, I guess, the main question. Yeah, I mean, the, the, it's a valid point. Uh, and there's also another thing, is like the fact that Skedex is a fairly new project, because it's a, I mean, it, it's been developed for three years or more probably, but it's approaching to the upstream now. So uh, trying to plan for the next step, that would be either a governor approach or extending Skedex to have a, like a pluggable scheduler, who knows what's going to happen. But it's, these are valid points that I'm, glad that they're coming up at the, the, this, in this place. Uh, but yeah, we need to keep in mind that it's a new project. So, so like I said, um, who will do the work is actually a very good question. And I'm hoping that we can get funding on my end to help we do it. It's still questionable because we're going through it ourselves, the whole reorg uh, right now. So we're trying to figure that out. Uh, but that's one of the reasons why I was a proponent for Skedex because you know usually I was I'm not, I'm not a BPF person. I, I've still yet to write a BPF program. <laughs> so, <laughs> so no, I, I I haven't needed it. No, no, I actually uh, I just modify things. But that's another story. But no, I'm saying uh, well, I when I saw this, I've always. I've always struggled with how, um, actually I was talking with Linus Travalos at the ARM Summit and I brought up Skedex and stuff like that and uh, this is when he was still saying no. And uh, I said to him, I said, you know, we have like this environment, like we don't care about, you know, all the CPUs. We have a few CPUs. We have one user and that we like, we don't want to really tune our scheduler for this one user and every time we can't make a modification upstream and Linus goes to me, he goes, well, yeah, if you modify the scheduler, you know, it goes, he goes, yeah, about this pluggable schedule, but everyone wants to do their own thing and if you modify it, you break someone else's workload. And I said, yes, Linus, that's the rationale for having pluggable schedulers so you don't have to worry about breaking someone else's workload because everyone has the same workload here and he just got quiet and walked away from me. <laughs> <laughs> so, anyone else? Anyway, Somebody, uh, well, actually, uh, someone raised their hand, but I just realized it's lunchtime. There's yeah, food. Exactly. So, Ooh. one last question, and we should be having food. Uh, Neil, I think. Please, please. Uh, Neil, uh, we, we close with your intervention, and then we head off to lunch because because we are out of time. Uh, the, the lunch break was exactly now, so we close uh, with you, Neil. Please. Sure, sure. And then I can go have breakfast. Um, like, uh, yeah. So, like, the, the, I think all the comments here are good. Uh, like, I just want to kind of close with saying, like, the underlying reason why, like, from me as a, as a desktop user and developer, uh, that I'm excited about Skedex is because the way that prioritization tends to work with having just the one scheduler is, you know, things like, um, user interaction micro stutters and stuff like that those are scheduling problems that we just don't have a way to get anyone to care about in the upstream Linux kernel and so if that changes that's fantastic um and that that'd be great but you know right now i have to work with what we have and what what people are willing to deal with so from me like i i want skedex to be everywhere and i want it to be a tool that desktops can rely on directly to be able to do the right things for their user experiences. Yeah, I share that sentiment uh, personally. Uh, this is not uh, the opinion. <laughs> and and um, I thank you very much for being good sports and uh, participating to the polls. We, it's lunchtime. Thank you for the, to the remote uh, attendees. And let's, have, uh, let's go have lunch. Thank you.